And here you have a live look at the Olympic flame burning tonight in Sochi, Russia. As the games continue, security obviously a concern in the background, but Russian authorities are not the only people providing security there. One company from Boston has a significant role there called Global Rescue, and their CEO, Dan Richards, joins us to talk about that. Dan, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Peter. So, real quick, explain to us generally uh, what Global Rescue does and what you're doing specifically in Sochi. So, Global Rescue provides medical, security, evacuation, crisis management and response services to really three categories of clients, uh, individuals and families, corporations and governments, and in this case, uh, the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association representing the U.S. Ski and Snowboard teams. Are you able to say roughly how many people over there you're looking after or, or on call for? There are about 375 associated with USSA, and uh, that includes coaches, staff, and athletes. Um, and then there are probably another we estimate about 750 to 1,000 um, other clients that Global Rescue is responsible for. So, so far, so good. You haven't had to uh, extract anybody from Russia. There's been no extractions and no rescues yet. Um, there's been some bumps and bruises. Uh, we had an American with some chest pain uh, that we escorted to a hospital the other day, but uh, there have been no rescues. Excellent. And uh, what are you hearing about the state of security on the ground? What are your people there telling you they're seeing and, and feeling? You know, the state of security on the ground in Sochi, uh, number one, it's pervasive. Um, there's a, a lot of security. There are a lot of personnel um, who Russia has deployed. But uh, number two, they've definitely sent some of, their, uh, some of their operators to charm school. And they really are welcoming to the guests. And uh, they've really done everything they can, I think, to make everybody feel welcome and be able to enjoy themselves at Sochi. You hear something uh, about these big, tough Russian cops wearing purple uniforms that sort of make them more approachable? Well, you know, it, uh, it doesn't hurt to, to dress them up a little bit, and you never want to, uh, I think, have lots of guys in black, uh, you know, nylon and Velcro, um, you know, carrying big weapons around. That, that certainly doesn't make for a, um, an enjoyable environment, and it certainly would put a damper on some of the, the parting that happens for the guests uh, and spectators at the Olympics. Right. So talk some about worst-case scenarios, the sort of things that we don't want to imagine, but something bad happens, an, an appendix ruptures, or something horrible happens to somebody in Russia. Tell us how Global Rescue then springs into action and the kind of things you would do. So our, our personnel on the ground are cross-trained to deal with both medical and security. Uh, events. And so what we're positioned to be able to do is to, if we need to be first responders, although there's a lot of first response capability that's been deployed not only by the host nation, uh, but also that's been brought by USSA, um, where we really add value is by overseeing and providing management of the case as it's occurring. And then if somebody needs to be evacuated, actually deploying the resources to Sochi that might be used in an evacuation. Aircraft, medical supplies, and other kinds of things that might be used in an evacuation out of Sochi. So I assume that kind of the special <laughs> sauce to Global Rescue as a business is this expertise in so many things. Medicine, air logistics, uh, you know, dealing with dozens of different countries. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, we're problem solvers. And we're problem solvers for a very specific set uh, of issues, uh, medical issues, security issues, and other issues related to crises when they occur, typically affecting people. And so rule of thumb, what can people expect to pay per, per day for coverage for, from Global Rescue? Well, we sell a, a consumer membership that starts at about $119 for a week. Excellent. Sounds like great security, especially when you go into some of the more freaky parts of the world. Well, we think it's a good value. Excellent. Dan Richards from Global Rescue, thank you so much for coming in and telling us the story. Thank you so much for having me.